Welcome to a tour of our form building tool. Let's go ahead and create a form. All right, we can give this form a name, form name. Maybe we are registering for a big event, so we'll give that event a date description here. And let's go ahead and add some fields. We can drag a name field onto the form. We can drag a email address onto the form. We might also want to know the user's phone number. And we may want to know the number of guests that the user is bringing. So we'd bring over this drop down menu. We can change the name to number of guests. And then we can specify the guest option numbers one, two, three. We can even add a fourth. Okay, then maybe we want to have the user list the guest name, so we drag over this paragraph test, and we put in here names of guests. We can change the size of this to be a little bit smaller. There we go. We can then go to each field and sometimes make some changes. For example, maybe we want to put in the full name here. We can do that, or we can put it back to normal. If we make a really long form, we might want to put in a section break, and we put, put in text there to help the user. We don't need that now, so we'll click Delete. For a really big form, we can do a page break. That creates multiple pages, and you can click on your pages and give them titles. So maybe your first page is about family info, and the second has student info. Then we can go to Form Properties and we can do some neat things. We can specify what the text is that appears when the user clicks Submit. And we can specify which website address the user goes to when they click Submit. So you might want to take them back to your website or take them to a thank you page or take them to a maps and directions page for the event they signed up for, or whatever you'd like. There's also more options here. We can click this and we can allow the visitor to our form to come back to the form later. They enter the email address and they're given a special link that helps remember the fields they had filled in so they can come back and finish the form later. It really helps with a long form. We can add a final page that allows the user to review the form before they click submit. We can also password protect the form, include a CAPTCHA, and limit the number of submissions in various ways. We can also schedule the form to appear and disappear, to be active and inactive on certain dates and times. So if you have a window that an application or registration is possible, you may want to use enter that window here so that you don't have to remember to turn off or remove your form. Okay, let's go take a look at some other things that we can do once we've made the form. We click on Manage Forms, and we'll go out to our Form Manager, and let's take a look at a form that we've already made before. Here we have this prayer breakfast, and you're probably wondering, how do we get to see the form itself? Well, we click on View, and then uh, the form itself is made available. There it is, prayer breakfast registration. And we can put in our email and the number of guests and the dollar amount even. All right, let's go back. You may be wondering, where is all this information going? Well, we click on notifications, and we can have an email address sent to us, the people who are creating the form, and can have an email sent to the people who filled out the form. So you can use that as, as a sort of a receipt or confirmation of registering or applying. Let's take a look at some other things that we can do. If we click on code, we get the code to embed the form right into our website if we would like. Uh, also, when we do view, forgot to mention this, but you can get the URL of this form to link to it from your website or email addresses. Here we go, there, there's that form by itself, and we see we can just grab this URL and we can use that as what we link to from our website or if we need the URL to embed it in one of our mobile apps or to link to from an email. You'll see here that our forms are secure. So when you use a form that takes payment, you're gonna wanna use this link and to take to take the user off to our secure server and these secure forms, you're not going to want to use the embed code be unless your website is also a secure website and has this green lock and is all approved with the HTTPS. So uh, if you don't have that on your website, just link to our server and our form and uh, all the security is taken care of for you. Okay, let's look at a few other things we can do. Uh, we can generate a report. 
We click Add New Widget, and we can look at some pretty neat reports that can be generated from the data that we are collecting. Of course, this depends on the type of data that you're collecting, but if you were to do a survey and you had numerical answers or quantitative answers, it'd be a great way to quickly see which choice among their options uh, the people filling out the form were choosing as a whole. So it'd be a very easy way for you to compare and contrast quickly what people are favoring if you were to do a survey form. Let's take a look at an example of some entries that have been already been filled out. We click Entries and we can see the fields already filled in. Here's an example of a entry for a registration. And we see that it's right here available. We can click Print and we are given a print ready view very nicely for this form. Here I brought it into view better and you see that it's ready to be printed using your local printing device so no need to reformat, it is ready to go for you. Now the entry area is not the only area that you can uh, access the forms. You can also download all the results together in an Excel file or a CSV file that can be opened up in your computer spreadsheet program. But also, you remember the notifications we sent up, those uh, in submissions are sent to us by email as well. And so we will go ahead and bring a sample email over here. And we can see that here's the results of, this is an example of a quick donation form. And we see the information was sent to us. This could also be how it appears to the person who filled out the form. Let's go back to uh, the form itself and look at something else we can do. We can do form logic. What this means is we can specify what happens when the user chooses a specific answer. So say, for example, we have a long application for a school, and we have a question that says, do you have more than one student? If they say no, we could allow them to skip the next page on the form, which maybe has the options for multiple students. And of course, if they say yes, they can go to that page with the more students. So it's a way to make a long form a little bit more simple and easier for your user. Uh, this isn't required, but it is an option that is available to you. Let's uh, look here. We have the ability to duplicate a form or delete it. And finally, let's take a look at how a payment form might work. Here we have a quick donation form. We'll go ahead and view this form. Okay, so here we are looking at the form. Notice we're on the secure server, and we'll demonstrate how easy this quick give form is. We're going to give $1,000, and we'll enter our email address here. And we move on to our credit card information. We put in our name. You will notice that we're not being asked to log in with a username and password. We are not being asked to create an account. We are not even being asked for an address. We are simply putting in our name and our credit card information. This is a demo credit card account number, so it will process, but it won't charge any money. And notice how fast this has been. We've even been talking, and we're already ready to click Submit. So we'll go ahead and do that and we see that the submission comes through and our gift has been made. So all of that in 30 seconds or less could be faster without talking. Again, uh, compare that to some other donation or payment tools out there where you have to create an account or you have to enter a lot of information or you have to create username and password. Uh, this skips all this, allows you to make the gift quickly. Uh, from the fundraising or uh, selling perspective, what you could do is you could use this as your your standalone donation form, or you could use it in conjunction with a form you already have. Uh, sometimes in a church environment, we have people giving and donating, but maybe they're giving by cash. If you promote this form and make this form easy and allow people to give by it, you can now identify some givers who may have been giving by cash, but who are givers who were never going to fill out the complicated, uh, cumbersome forms that may already exist. So this is a way to reach new people, to make giving easy, but to capture enough info that you can reach out to someone. So if you see someone give a few times through this quick form, you might reach out to them and then ask them to sign up for your automatic ACH or your other a little bit uh, more integrated or complicated online giving form. So you can use this in conjunction with your online giving or you can uh, use it as a standalone item. We, we have customers uh, doing both. This was a donation, but you could have easily uh, set this up to have been a payment for a specific product or a payment that went along with an event
client sign up. You saw here a variable amount, but you can also specify the, the, the amount that the person would need to pay for that particular event. Uh, when you sign up for our form service, we provide you another video with instructions on how you set up all the payments. So this is just a demonstration of how it works on the user's end. Let's go back and look at the form manager again one more time. Okay, here we are, and again, uh, to edit forms, you just click Edit, and you're in here making your edits. You can go to Field Properties and Form Properties to select more options, and then out here you can view your entries, download them, view them up close. You can uh, notify you and the person filling out the form. You can grab the code to embed it on your website. This is where you do your payment integrations. This is where you do form logic, a report. And then again, you click this, and that's how you get to view the actual form itself. And that's how you would grab the URL for uh, getting the secure URL or for linking to a button or your app or an email form. Okay, this concludes our form tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.